Hello and welcome to Shardlight. This is an adventure game that I have been looking forward to playing for quite some time. Um, it's set in a post-apocalyptic world, as you can probably guess by the background and the creepy freaking raven right there. I think it's a raven. Um, yeah, and look, there's a little skeleton down here. Hello. Uh, I, anyway, the reason I've been looking forward to playing this is that the first computer games I ever really got to play were old Sierra adventure games. Things like, say, King's Quest, Hero's Quest, wait, wait no, they renamed that, Quest for Glory is what they changed the series to, uh, Space Quest, stuff like that, and I absolutely loved those games. Just the ability to walk around the world, talk to the people, and just explore, it was fantastic. It's what I cut my gaming teeth on, so to say, and they will always have a uh, soft spot in my heart, and partly because of that, I definitely want to give Shardlight a uh, play. Now, while this is not the uh, typing prompt that I'm used to, later adventure games moved to more of a point-and-click interface, just like this. So it's uh, definitely not anything new to me. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. November 9th. The world ended 20 years ago today. What a strange, awful anniversary to celebrate. 20 years. And this city is still in ruins. Twenty years. And the citizens are still dying on the streets. Twenty years. And I'm no closer to fixing my mistake. As I look on the horizon today, I see many laborers going to their lottery jobs. They cling to hope that the ticket they earn will win them the vaccine they need to survive. Green Lung continues to take lives every day. But the people of this town are stubborn, resilient. They refuse to give up in the face of death. The background is... that's awesome. Okay, this would be us, I suppose. <coughs> oh, it stinks down here. Hopefully dealing with the reactor won't take too long. All right, so left click to interact, select inventory items, right click to examine, deselect. That's pretty standard. Uh, so let's see, we are down here. There is a ladder going up, some graffiti, a lamp, box, corpse, uh, lights, a fan, door. All right, so what's the sign side? There's a gas mask on it. Must be an extractor fan. Controls are probably nearby. All right, which seems to come down like here, like that. So this is going to be the this control must box. Be the fan control. Yes, it is. It's some kind of control box with a plate on it. It's probably connected to the main power source in here. All right, and then the graffiti says the ravens. This hasn't been here very long. The paint is still damp. So it's the apocalypse, but they still have time to have paint. <laughs> I don't suppose you've seen a reactor around here. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh... I guess not. I wonder what that was supposed to say. But it's definitely through here. There's a little safety thing there. Holy snap. I'm starting to see why this was a lottery job. This better be worth it. Oh. That's got to be important. Whenever there's movement, it's usually important. <laughs> All right, paper. I can't reach it from. Yeah, there's no way to reach that. Um, Looks like see. that used to be somebody's bathroom. Nice tile floor. Hmm. What's that thing up there? That would be paper. All right, so this is a vent, right? Well, that did nothing. There's an old vent up there. You know what? There's an extractor fan control out there, right? I bet that's connected. Uh, this thing? So right now it's on intake. Let's make it exhaust. And up the speed. Too far. Ah. Okay, there we go. So let's try this again. Ha! The paper shall be mine. 
That's also one of the things these games like to encourage is kleptomania, take everything. It would probably just disintegrate in my hands if I peeled it off. Okay, so can I read it? Fatigue Maintenance Corp. There's a maintenance log underneath. The last inspection was 15 years ago. That's impressive if it's still running 15 years later. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Hello? Can you hear me? Took you long enough. I thought I was Raven food. It's only been, uh, what, a day now? We need to get you out of here. Hey, 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 calm down, kid. I'm fine where I am. Who are you? Who are you? They didn't tell you? I'm afraid not. <sighs> Typical. Aristocrats don't give a rat's ass about anyone else till their That's lights a lot of blood. go out. I'm sorry. I don't quite follow. Did Tiberius send you to fix the reactor? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm your replacement, aren't I? It would seem so. Certainly hope you have better luck than I did. So what happened to you? He got crushed? Are you blind, kid? I came down here. I was about to get the reactor running, and there was a tremor. All hell breaks loose, and now I'm crawling my way to the Reaper. <laughs> There's something in that so sorry. skeleton's head. Be. Comes with the territory. But then, uh, you should know that, right? Not this one, but that one looks like there's something in the head. Is there anything you need? Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'm a dead man. Even if you went for help, I'd be gone by the time you got back. There's nothing at all? Can I do anything to make you more comfortable? You're nice, kid. But nice will get you killed. Just do your job. I'm not going anywhere. Don't move. I'll be back. Your sense of humor needs some work, kid. Eh, uh, don't move. That's, uh... Actually, kind of morbidly funny. <laughs> so this is the reactor. That's a mighty small reactor. I'd imagine the reactor's below us. This reactor looks worse for wear. Four, zero, four, five, one. That means nothing to me. It's not budging. All right. Does he know anything about this? Um, Mister. Huh? I think this reactor needs a code and. I don't have it. Do you? You don't do this type of work often, do you? Not a reactor, no. I'm more experienced with cars, pumps, easy fixes. So a lottery worker, huh? Who's the vaccine for? Why do you care? Hang on. You look familiar. Got instantly Why snappy you? there. I'm a mechanic. I've got a shop just outside town. Maybe you came in. I knew a guy named uh, Cooper Wellard once. I had a shop around there. Are you related? He was my dad. What's it matter to you? You're Cooper's girl. <laughs> so do you even care about Tiberius? I care about getting medicine. You said you wanted to help me, right? Yes. Do you need anything? I do. And if it works out, you'll never have to work a lottery job again. Excuse me? You heard me. But first, I need to know you're serious about helping. I mean, does it seem like a good idea to trust a random person you find crushed on a rubble, or can we just, like, humor him? I think we'll at least humor him. This sounds really sketchy. How do I know I'll be safe? I can't make any promises, but you're Cooper's kid. If I can trust anyone to help me, it's you. All right, I'll help you. Is that a promise? Yes. Thank you. And if I don't, Before you'll be dead. Accident, I figured out that this reactor just needs a hard reset. To do that, you'll need to input the reset code, which is the unit serial number. Just find the compliance plate and you'll be good to go. By the way, how's your shooting? Could be worse, could be better. Then take this. A crossbow? It's not like I need it anymore. I picked it up off that corpse over there. It hasn't got any bolts, but you should be able to find some around here. Thanks. I'll see about getting that reactor started. Serial number is a four digit code. It's a good thing they never made more than 9,999 reactors. Radioactive. Wonderful. Yeah, let's not go in that pool. The water cools down the pipes that are connected to the reactor. A bolt to the head is an ugly way to go. Yeah, it is. It's a bolt. I'll take it. Never hurts to have some ammo. Oh, sorry. I don't think they mind, they're dead. 
All right, so we need to find the plaque. Let's see. You know what? There was that box thing out here, right? See this thing? What's this? Sprogan and Sons Manufacturing Compliance something compliance checked. What was that sixteen fourteen unit serial number? And I can't read that. Um, it's too hmm. crowded to read. See, it looks like it's actually still there. You just can't see it because of the corrosion. So, is there anything in here we could use to, like, I don't know, like, put on the paper? I can't reach it from. It's what is a that? really old lamp. There's a wax candle inside. Wax candle, wax crayon, right? Crayon. Let's try this. Take my bowl too. Alright, so let's try this again. So if we go ahead and use the paper on the plaque, so it still shows the plate behind it, that's good. But now we can like rub this all the way over. There we go. Unit serial number 2794. We got it. And I'm a terrible person, I have to make sure I uh get it all filled up. <laughs> there we go. Alright, 2794, got it. Mm. We are so smart. We solved the earliest, easiest puzzle in the game. <laughs> Okay, so let's see if this works. Two, seven, nine, four. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Good job. Now get over here. What kind of reactor is that? That was faster than I expected. Maybe there's still time to. Your optimism's cute, but I'm not going anywhere. Listen up, okay? This is how you can help me. Take this letter. It's going to Danton in the Market District. You should be able to find the right place if you ask around. Danton? Who's that? I don't know anyone named Danton in the Market District. You'll figure it out. Look, it's very important to me and to you that you deliver this letter. I... I understand. I'll take care of it. Great. Now for the second part of the deal. I need you to shoot me in the head. Clean as you can. N oh. No. I, I can't. I'm in a lot of pain, kid. Let me die with some dignity. There's no way I'd get fixed up in time. We both know it. I want to go out on my own terms. I don't know if I can. Buck up, kid. It's a hard world. And in order to survive, you gotta do lots of things you don't like. Reaper be damned. Don't go out my own way. Please, let's just get this over with. In case you were wondering, this really hurts. Oh, wow. That, there's no hospitals, there's no doctors, there's no getting better from that. I mean, even if there was, that would still be. You can, being crushed by stuff, it's, uh Oh, we have to shoot him. Last chance. Are you sure about this? Completely. I bet we can walk away, but to be honest, that would be really mean to just leave him here to suffer in pain thing. for the rest of his life. Yes. What was your name again? It's been so long since I heard Cooper talk about you. It's Amy. What's yours? Not important. It's for me. Beg your pardon? You asked before about my taking this job, who the vaccine was for. It's for me. I started feeling the symptoms about a week ago, and, well, I'm desperate. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so sorry. What's happening to you? What happened to your old man? Uh, it's not fair. You can make it right, Amy. Just deliver the letter. Everything will change. You'll see. Thank you. I wish you nothing but the best. Oh.
At least they didn't let you watch it. <laughs> This has really gone and thrown a wrench in the works. An old speed limit sign. It's been ages since anything traveled down a road that fast. Look at that car. Looks like this was abandoned here a very long time ago. It's an early 20th century model. Probably belonged to an old antique collector. Or some big shot salesman. At any rate, it's just junk now. Wood pile. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? Oh, hey, I got wood. <laughs> uh, speakers. Anyone wishing to enter the vaccine lottery may do so by visiting the appropriate ministry and applying for a work permit. What, is, what are these shards, anyway? A shard of uranium glass. The sun's UV rays make it glow green like that. They're the main source of artificial light in the city. Oh, that's neat. The tree's like covered what in them. An eyesore. At least someone made it nicer by hanging some shards on the branches. Attention, citizens. If you spot anyone with signs of advanced green lung, be sure to report them to the Ministry of Medicine. Doing so will save lives. It doesn't look Once, to be anything else here. used to store fuel. Or some other resource. It's been empty for years, though. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, freaky raven, red eyes. All right, so that takes us to the ministry, ministry of energy. Then we have the market district. Let's go turn. Tell them we fix the uh, reactor. The aristocrat guard. They're no pushovers. Looks like they have muskets with bayonets. <laughs> you all keeping busy? Extremely. Now please move along. The doors to the Ministry of Ven Hello. I'm here to see Tiberius. Very well. Proceed. Just let anyone in. It's okay. See scaffold. Looks like they're repairing the building over there. Well, it's nice to see someone can afford to make repairs to their home. It's more guards to the tower, chandelier. Keep up the good work, fellas. Thank you. Uh, two towers. Welcome back, miss. There we go. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. Ah, the soothsayer. Right. The soothsayer. Honest. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. It makes him feel important. Thanks for the advice. Oh, hey, look, a guard. Let's see what we got here. I really don't like that photo gives me chills. The plaque underneath says, Blast Day, Always Remembered. Last day, it must be the uh, beginning or the end of the war. Some old guy. The plaque underneath says Caligula. We've gone Roman. It's the constitution that was drafted in order to form the aristocracy. This is one of the elite guards. They aren't allowed to speak to anyone. All right, elevator it is. There's another bus down there to the lower left. Keep it together. This will be over soon. Ah, hello. Please, come in. It's full of shards. Pretty, but I don't think it would help keep anyone warm. What is that? It's hard to say exactly what, but something about this decoration is extremely unsettling. A skull, a plant. Is that supposed to make this place any less spooky? It's not doing a very good job of it. No. Creepy. I wonder who that used to be. Junk, junk, junk. <laughs> a bunch of baubles and trinkets. 
No idea what they could be for. All right, so let's talk to the soothsayer. You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? Yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? Yes. You must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. I sense great turmoil within you. No, that's okay. I, I sense great BS in front of me. I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. Oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now, please, relax. I need to study your aura. Hmm. Interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. The source of this seems to be a decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? I met a dying man. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. May I see it? I feel it has great importance. Hmm, yes, fascinating. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. You should speak with him about it. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks. That was very informative. Think nothing of it. 